So I don't usually do these type of videos, but today is a great day for those who don't own a PC setup. And it's really emphasizing the fact that you don't need a PC when it comes to the Oculus Quest 2. Today, Oculus has released an update that will allow you to access something called App Lab. They've also allowed you to access Messenger that you can find in Facebook on your headset itself. This is great because it allows me to just reply to people on Facebook without actually taking off my headset, which is pretty convenient. But this app lab is something that's the most interesting. In my previous video, I talked about something called SciQuest and how to set it up wirelessly for something called virtual desktop. Well, app lab is pretty much an Oculus curated version of that. Yes, it's pretty limited right now. We're just kind of having a few games on there, you know, but what it allows people to do is access new exciting content that's not available through the store itself. And it also also improves the security and safety of your oculus headset because it's kind of filtered through oculus themselves and a quote from themselves is today we are introducing app lab a new way for developers to share their creation safely and securely with quest owners without store approval that's massive it's massive you don't need a pc anymore which is great community-based products are now going to be available on the quest 2 so more games are going to be even available as well as apps are going to be available that don't have to wait ages for it to be approved by the store it's great it just gives the options for developers who don't have the same funding as some of these higher branding names to go out there and create something for the oculus that could be very good and with sidequest i'm not saying i've ever experienced this myself when downloading products off there it could have something in it that's not exactly approved i've never experienced that but i've heard horror stories at least this way it's filtered correctly through oculus themselves so not everything will get through the barriers and that's kind of what i want to talk about next the next thing i want to talk about is whether or not the vr patch for virtual desktop and beat saber modding will be available through this app lab store because at the end of the day you need a pc and you need sidequest in order to bring the beat saber modding and also the vr patch to life when doing virtual desktop by all means if you don't have a pc it won't really bother you the virtual desktop kind of things but beat saber itself is a biggie because beat saber is not a cross-platform thing you have to have to buy it on your oculus quest 2 headset the oculus quest store on the pc or steam you're kind of limited <laughs> and if you chose to buy it on the quest 2 headset like i did you have access to zero songs unless you side quest it bought it plug it in and then get going and download songs that way through an app. Maybe this app lab will bring in the side where you can get other songs for Beat Saber and it will all be available through the actual Quest Store itself. Or at least this app lab thing, not the Quest Store, app lab. So for those people who don't own PCs or don't have that ability, because I know a few people who have a Quest who can't access a computer. And it'd be interesting to see where this goes. Yes, it's very limited right now. It's very new. Hopefully they allow community developers and there's not too much strictness on there, you know, around the belt of what they can put up. Hopefully it's decent content but safe i think that's the main key importance here if we can eliminate side quests and just bring it onto app lab um yeah i'm all for it inbuilt in house games apps that are available whether or not it's paid or free i have no idea it doesn't say anything I, I i i just don't know i just don't know i guess would that make things free or imply a paid service that's underneath the same Oculus refund policy. You know what I mean? The 14 days under two hours kind of playtime stuff. Yeah, implement the same refund policy if developers deserve that their game needs to, all patch need to be made payable. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully this is kind of like something for some of you guys. I know I'm kind of orientating my channel a little bit around VR at the moment. I just felt like this was really cool news. So that I'm really interested in. Right, all the best. I appreciate you coming by. If you do want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate it. Also go for my TikTok as I'll be making more Call of Duty content over there, as well as my Twitch where I'll be doing more VTubing over there. Yeah, it's kind of like all over the place, but nevertheless, all links will be down in the description below and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye-bye for now.